All right, what I want to do now is talk a little bit about string concatenation and template literals. So string concatenation happens when we combine two or more smaller strings into one large string. So this is a very common task when you're working with JavaScript or even other programming languages. So let's start out today with the older way of doing this. This is using the plus operator. So let's say we did something like const and I'll go first name, first name, and I'll set this equal to John and then I'll go const last name and I'll set this equal to green. And then we could do something like const, let's do like a simple greeting. So greeting, we'll say hi, comma, I am, and then you have that. So let's go with const, we'll say full greeting now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slap these guys together. So I'm gonna start with greeting, okay, that variable. And the value there is hi, I am, that string, okay? So then I'm gonna use the plus operator and I'm gonna slap John, okay? to the end of that, so I'm gonna use first name, okay? And then I'm gonna use the plus operator again, and I'm gonna slap last name, okay, to the end of that. So basically, this plus operator, when you're working with strings, it allows you to slap one string directly to the end of the other, okay? Now, because we don't have any spaces in here, you'll notice that there's no spaces. So you're gonna see hi, I am, and then you're gonna have John, and then you can have green all slapped directly together, okay? So no spaces. So let's go ahead and console.log this full greeting, okay? And we'll see what we have here. And then I'll show you how to fix the spacing issue. So let's go ahead and clear this and let's run our program. So again, node space basics.js, hit this, and we get hi, comma, I am John Green. So notice how there's no space there, okay? So to fix this, let me just minimize this real quick. To fix this, you can put plus here, okay? And you can put plus here. And in between there, what we're gonna do is we're going to put a string here that just contains a space, okay? So that's all we're going to do. So now if we go ahead and run this guy again, let's clear it out and run it, we get hi, comma, I am John Green, and notice the spaces have been put in for us. Now this is the old way to do it and it's rather inconvenient because you have to keep track of the spaces and it can get annoying. And I'm gonna show you some other benefits to this, but basically what you wanna do here is you wanna switch over to using something known as backticks or creating a template literal. So what I'm going to do, and I'll just show you with another variable, say const full greeting, let's go to, is equal to, I'm gonna use backticks here, okay? Every time I have a variable, that I wanna reference, I'm just going to use a dollar sign and curly braces, okay? And I'm type the variable name inside of there. That's all I need to do. You can put spaces in there, it's going to read it exactly as you put it. So then I'm gonna put dollar sign, curly braces, and then first name, and then dollar sign, curly braces, and then last name, okay? So because there are spaces in here, okay, you see this space here, and you see this space here, JavaScript's gonna interpret that exactly as I gave it, okay? And if I console.log this, okay, let me just go ahead and put this in as two, you're gonna see you get the same thing, okay? So let's go ahead and run this, and we get hi, I am John Green in each case. But you can see that this way is much, much simpler. I don't have to think about putting this plus and then the string that's just a space, okay? I don't have to think about that. This just does it automatically. So there are more benefits to this. Before I move on into that, I wanna talk about the fact that this is a newer feature and before you use it, you wanna make sure that whatever browser you're developing for, or it could be browsers in every case you're trying to be as inclusive as possible, if you have to support a browser that doesn't support this, you need to think about the workarounds, okay? So you wanna to go to a site called Can I Use? And basically this is a site that tells you if a feature is gonna be available. Okay, so this is ES6 template literals or template strings, okay? And basically this is when we use the backticks like we just saw, okay? So this is gonna list all the different browsers. So you see with Internet Explorer, it's highlighted as red, okay? So it's not supported. But where you see the green or especially the dark green, okay, that tells you you have like full support, okay? So you can go through and figure out, okay, do I need to support Internet Explorer? Well, if I do, it might not be a good idea to use them. But if I don't have to support Internet Explorer, well, then I'm free to use these backticks as much as possible. Now, let's talk about some other benefits here, okay? And I'm just going to get rid of all this. We don't need it anymore. Let's say that you're working with a piece of text or string that has something like an apostrophe in it. So let's say we do const my string, and I'm gonna set this equal to, and I'm gonna use single quotes for this example, and you'll see why in a moment. I'm just gonna say, this doesn't work very well, 
okay? So you'll notice that I have the end of my string here and the end of the beginning of my string here. But here, what JavaScript thinks is that because this guy matches what's in the beginning, that I'm trying to end my string. Okay, it thinks that I'm doing that. So what I can do to get around this, I can either escape the character by putting a backslash here before the character occurs, okay, that allows me to escape it, or I can get rid of these guys all together, okay, and I can just use the back ticks, okay? So I can do that. You can also use, if you wanted to, let's go ahead and do this as another example. So let's copy this, and I'll say this is my string two. Another way you can get around this, you can use the double quotes, okay? And if you use double quotes, you can use single quotes inside, okay? It's trying to end your string with what it started with. So if it starts with double quotes, the second it gets the double quotes, it's gonna end the string, okay? If it starts with single quotes, the second it sees single quotes, it's gonna end the string. So both of these would print the same. So let's go ahead and console.log them. We'll just do my string and then my string two. You put a comma between these guys and it's going to just print out for you on the same line. So it's nice and easy. So let's go ahead and open this up clear this out and we'll go ahead and run this guy. So you get, this doesn't work very well. This doesn't work very well on the same line because we separated these guys with a comma. Okay, let me clear this out real quick and minimize this. So let me erase this now and let's talk about one more feature of this. So let's say I did something like const my string and I set this equal to, let's say I was using double quotes, okay? And let's say I wanted to say something like, hi, I am John comma and I am a, and then for emphasis, let's say that I wanted to put web developer on another line, okay? So you might think that you could just hit enter here, but that's gonna give you an issue, okay? So you can't just do that. So what you would have to do if you're using these double or single quotes, you'd have to put a escape sequence. So in other words, you wanna use your backslash and then the N, okay? So this tells you you want this on a new line. Okay, and if you don't want this to have a space, you'd move this over, okay? And then what I wanna do is just console.log this my string variable and see what we have here. So let's run this and you get, hi, I am John and I am a web developer. Okay, so you see that this web developer comes on another line. So this was the old way to do this, but we have a better way now. We can use the backticks, okay? So I can just say const my string two and I can use back ticks and just say, hi, I am John and I am A. And what I'm gonna do is just hit enter. Oh, and that auto completed something that it shouldn't have. So let me hit enter there. And then I am A, and I meant to put, let me do this one more time. I am a web developer like this. So because I'm using the back ticks here, when I hit enter, it's gonna preserve that. And if I console.log, this my string two, okay, variable, then I'm gonna get the exact same thing, but it's a lot easier to do. So hi, I am John and I am a web developer. So that's just a few things, a few advantages to using these back ticks versus using double or single quotes. We'll see this a lot as we progress through the course.